people keep debating on what the greatest Dreamcast game ever is. Is it Power Stone 2? Is it Sonic Adventure 2? Is it Jet Grind Radio? No! I think I found something even better than all of those. Spirit of Speed 1937 for the Sega Dreamcast features some of the best things ever, including terrible controls, great sound, great sound, great sound, and it, best of all, it was developed by LJN. When the game starts, one of the first things you'll notice is that it takes 1 minute and 30 seconds to load the main menu. 1 minute and 30 seconds to load the main menu. Sorry, Sonic 06, but you just got beat in the crappy load times department. Then you get to a poorly designed main menu featuring no music, which is very awkward to use, and also requires you to go through five other things to actually get to the race settings. Then, once you finally start the race, it takes another 30 seconds to load. I'm not even making this up. This game is even worse than Sonic 360 in load times. The sound is some of the best ever. After you hear the soft music intro, you then get stuck to a race, where the only sounds you hear are sounds produced directly from a terrible NES game. The sound sounds like fingernails on a chalkboard, and it sounds like your Rebecca Black single. So, you might as well just play Rebecca Black music over it, because it's going to sound exactly the same either way. The graphics take you back to the days of the N64, Remember flat models, low polygon textures, low resolution textures, and low polygon models? Then you'll love this game. It's got some of the best graphics of all time. The saddest thing is, I haven't even started to talk about the gameplay yet. The gameplay is non-existent. Every time you make a single turn, the game laughs at you by making you crash straight into the wall. And it has that annoying skid sound, too which you'll always be hearing because the game doesn't control properly. You'll never win, too, because the AI card is always going at the max speed while also managing to somehow drive correctly. I mean, your car goes really slow while his goes at, like, a Ferrari speed. So this is some of the best gameplay ever because of that. And now it's time to give an overall score. Yeah, it's a short review, but there's no plot or any of that stuff to think of. Now, the graphics get a negative 10 out of it. They look like a bad N64 game, really a bad N64 There's no excuse for it. The sound gets a negative 10 out of 10 for being just fingernails on the chalkboard. The gameplay gets a negative 10 out of 10 because it just crashes the controls. That's all you do for the whole game. The load times also get a negative 10 out of 10 too, because it takes a minute and 30 seconds 